what's going on guys and welcome back in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove replace and reinstall the center cover grill for your W204 and with this center cover grill underneath once you remove it you're going to find your plugs for your light sensor your parking distance sensor as well as the front center 3 inch speaker so if you need to replace these for any reason this video is going to show you how to remove them and reinstall them not only that seeing as I was already in the car I'm also going to show you guys how you can practice preventative maintenance on a specific part in your car this is something that you probably have all seen before but you've never really uh, thought about what it is and that it is important to a certain extent and what I'm talking about is the little circular mesh grill that you can find on the dashboard near your steering wheel I wanted to share with you guys how it is actually pretty important to keep that mesh grill clean behind it is your interior temperature sensor so this is what reads the temperature that comes out of your aircon, your heater, and also the cabin temperature overall. Preventative maintenance would prolong the life of the sensor. If you let a lot of dirt build up and dust, eventually it's going to cause damage to the sensor itself and eventually you're just going to have to replace it. When this sensor fails, it can cause a humming noise in your car so you definitely don't want that because it's going to become annoying preventative maintenance is definitely going to help and all you have to do in order to maintain this sensor get a can of compressed air and just spray it out try not to spray anything with uh, too much liquid or even like alcohol content it is a sensor after all just a simple can of compressed air will definitely do the job so Let's jump into the video and let me show you exactly how I do it and uh, how I remove all these parts. What you have to do is you use a trim removal tool like such and you have to get it in between the speaker grill and the side and then pry up. It's very important that your trim removal tool is extremely thin so that you can get in the side and pry it up. Be very careful not to break anything. Okay, there we go. That's up. And there we go. Now you're going to want to remove this if you need to replace your speaker. For whatever reason, if it's broken, you just put your trim on, pull in and then pry up. There we go. Do the same for this side, pry up. Get it in there. There we go. Once you get it out, you're going to see that there are a couple plugs under there. One for your parking sensors. That's that one there. In order to unplug this, you just pull it out. Okay. As for the second one, there is a tab on it. Use something like a pick tool, press on the clip, and then pull it down. There we go. That's released there. So all you have to do is just pull this one out, but for this one, there is a little push clip that you need to press. You have to press on that so you can release it. And now, in order to remove your speaker, you have to remove two T20 Torx screws, and then you will be able to release your center speaker. Be very careful as well. Try not to lose the, the, the uh, screws inside here. It would be a pain to get out later as you really don't have much room to maneuver around. And we have another one here. They're both T20 Torx uh, screws. There we go. Now we can just remove that. Now we can lift up this speaker and then there is simply a plug right here just pull it straight out and that's how you release your front center speaker at this stage you could replace both your light sensor this your front center speaker you could also replace your speaker cover if it's cracked and your parking sensor it really is not bad of a speaker I really do like the sound system in the W204 as you can see here I've got the logic 7 one there really isn't much to it in order to put this back in make sure that you have these two screw holes at, towards the top like that and it will sit back in like that and that's that all right and now just to show you in order to remove these sensors off this front speaker cover to remove the parking sensor you have four clips to, in total there's one here there's another one on this side and the same on the other side there's also 
one there and another one right there okay in order to release it you need to pinch them in together and then push it out the top do the same to the other side and that will come straight out the top there we go and that's how you replace that if you needed to and then to reinstall it push it back in line it up and press it straight down and it clips back into place as for the other one here you're going to see two clips and it works the same way there's one there and there's one down here you have to pinch on them and push them out and it comes out the same way as the uh, parking sensor so you see this clip here I'm going to press on it a bit as you can see there I'll show you right now you push on it and you push it out as you can see here that's the clip there and that's the clip there okay so you just push it out and then that simply releases like that there's a tab there and a tab on the other side you have to push these in towards the center a bit and then you can push it out that's how you get that out okay and now to get it back in we have to line it up again like this you line up your tabs with these two right here you push it in push it straight down and it clips back into place and that's it that's all there is to it and now to reinstall everything that's what it looks like inside all we have to do now is move the cables out of the way we reinstall the speaker we drop our speaker back in you want to get this side of the speaker in first so we slide it on in and we just drop it in place we line up our screw holes then we can plug everything back in push our speaker cover back in we're going to plug in our speaker first it can only go in one way follow the way the speaker wire goes so you just grab your speaker wire now and you just plug it straight back in and there we go it's plugged back in now run the speaker wire in push it back down line up your speakers to your screw holes grab your screw start it by hand start the other by hand as well that's in now we can put it back in loosey loosey righty tighty screw it in and that's tight now just make it snug not too tight and the other one as well now all right once it's snug you are done now we just need to plug back in both our parking sensor and the other one as well okay this is the way it's sat pull this out a bit give it a bit of length that's one in plug in the other one as well for our actual parking sensor okay and there we go you heard that click back in the plugs are back in all right and then if you take a look here you can see there's a hole there and there's also another hole on the other side just here right there you just have to line these up and push them straight back down and they will clip back in and that's it and there you have it that's how you remove your front speaker cover in order to replace these two sensors and also the speaker grill as well as the three inch speaker inside if you want to upgrade it or replace it i also just wanted to show you guys quickly this little uh, cabin temperature sensor right here at first i never knew what this was but after a little bit of research i figured out that this is your interior cabin sensor temperature sensor this is also important to keep clean if you don't keep it clean after a while what ha what can happen is it can start to make like a humming noise and you won't know where it's coming from if you don't understand how this works it has plates on the inside that sense temperature coming out if too much dirt gets caught in here like you see here right now as you can see there's a lot of dust in mine at the moment it can cause it to malfunction and then start to make that humming noise a buzzing sound kind of like a humming buzzing noise so in order to rectify this we need to get either compressed air or air duster in a can and what we do is we just simply spray it out okay and that will keep it from malfunctioning okay so just like that as you can see there it's clean now that will keep it extremely clean and that won't allow it to malfunction okay spray it all out so you just want to do that whenever you see some dirt building up on this that's all I wanted to show you today guys so yeah
So give you guys a quick look at my interior again. Okay. That's my interior for you. Got some carbon fiber there. Alrighties. Beautiful. There you have it guys, how to practice preventative maintenance on your interior temperature sensor and also how to remove, replace and reinstall the sensor grill cover and the parts that relate to it like the sensor speaker which is a 3 inch speaker, the parking distance sensor as well as the light sensor. All these things are very important so I really hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads thank you very much for watching be sure to keep your hands clean stay safe practice social distancing and i'll see you guys in the next video this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off